those particular IP addresses from that particular um, what we call regional internet registry. So within ICANN we have what we call the, the address supporting organization and all these um, registries they develop their policies through the address support organization and finally the address support organization contact ICANN in order for these um, recommendations to become um, policy. We have just the, the green one. We have also what we call generic supporting, um, generic name supporting organization. Uh, basically, there are three groups of domain names out there. We have what we call the generic top level domain names. These are like .com, .org, .int, etc., etc. And we have also what we have what we call country code top level domain names. For example, in the case of the Netherlands Antilles, that's that's .an. In the case of Trinidad and Tobago, .tt, Jamaica, GM, etc., etc. Netherlands.nl. And we have also since last year, November, a third group that's called internationalized domain names. Basically, um, in this particular part of the world, we are using what we call ASCII codes or Latin scripts. So that's from A to Z, 0 to 9. But in other parts of the world, for example, in Asia, Russia, um, um, Arabic world, they're using other scripts. So they are not using um, what we call the Latin script, as I did explain before, 0 to 9 or A to Z. So um, you will see all these other scripts that these um, people are using. And I got a feedback here. So um, the third group that's called internationalized domain names. So you will find that people, for example, um, using Arabic script in, in the in after the HTTP, you can just type let's say an Arabic script and you will still reach that particular website. So we have three groups of um, um, of domain names. In the GNSO, those entities dealing with generic top-level domain names, as I did mention before, .com, .org, .int, etc., etc., they have within the ICANN structure what we call um, the GNSO, that's a generic number supporting organization. So these people come together and they discuss issues or challenges that they are facing and these topics or challenges are being faced um, in, in wider ICANN. So we have also the CCNSO, that's um, the Country Code Number Supporting Organization. They also can come together and discuss all the issues that they are facing and, all, and these issues will be addressed within the wider ICANN. For example, right now in the, in the Netherlands Antilles, um, as we know, the Netherlands and the consists of five islands, um, St. Martin, Curaçao, Bonaire, St. Paul, St. Paul Station. Um, after 10-10-10, 10 of October 2010, we are going to have um, Curaçao and St. Martin will obtain autonomous uh, country status, but still within the Dutch Kingdom. And Bonaire, Seba and St. Paul Station will become municipalities of the Netherlands. So that means that um, both um, St. Martin and Curaçao um, need to look for new, um, what we call, country codes. Presently, we do have what we call the .am, but that's from the Netherlands Centre, so Curaçao and St. Martin they need to look for new country codes. I already did explain the governments in, on, on both, both islands what they should do, and I think they are doing that. Okay, um, we have also what we call some advisory committees within the ICANN structure. For example, Security and Stability Advisory Committee. These are a group of experts and also they come together and discuss all the issues that they are facing in order for the internet to continue to work in a secure um, way. So basically that's the, and, and I'm 